Breaking news. He escaped with smuggled passports. The escape of Binan's boss from post police custody has caused a lot of reactions online. Hello everyone, you're welcome. The Office of the National Security Advisor, ONSA, has confirmed reports that a Binance executive, Nadim Anjawala, escaped from police custody in Abuja on Friday, March 22nd, 2024. In a statement released on Monday, March 25th, the NSA said the Binance executive escaped with a small good passport. The NSA also stated that the personnel in charge of Anjawala's custody has been arrested pending investigation. The statement signed by Head Strategic Communications Office of the National Security Advisor on Sa Zakari Mijiyawa reads. So, this has caused a lot of discussion online to say how could someone who is under arrest in Abuja um, take off like that and found his way out of Nigeria? While some are that he went to um, make prayers at the mosque, that was how he was able to get away and all of that. Let's go straight into the comments. Somebody said, what cannot happen in Nigeria cannot exist. Another said, NSA are talking as if they are telling bedtime stories to babies. Another said, sweet story. Another said, seems money that now rules of mortality, morality in Nigeria is changed and and such easy escape. Another said, he has bribed you people to facilitate his escape and you are here fooling us. Another said, arrest all the security agencies in charge of the facility. They all collected bribe and allowed him to go. Another said, oh more, this thing is from the top pool. Dollars has dropped in their office and the door open, even with escorts along. Another said, this is security pardon. Story, story. Another said, shameless leadership. Arrest the common officer on duty, but you know the truth, right? Another said, imagine Nigerian government so individual can bribe the old security agents and make his way out of Nigeria that easily. Another said, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. When will we hear good news from you? Another said, shame, shame. If it's ordinary city civilians, they would chain or keep him away. Nigerian security are to answer about or have they been settled? Another said, hmm, gross dereliction of duty. Somebody somewhere has compromised his duty. But this is Niger, where we have turned money to the gods and materials of the world to worship. Can someone please explain how somebody that undermined our economic interest is allowed to escape? Can this happen in Britain and America or Russia? Not even in South Africa. Question and more questions. Somebody must account for the lapses. Another said, if you diligently escape, someone intentionally with interest showed him the way out. Another said, mm, the biggest Nollywood movie of 2024. Another said, a very big shame. He must have promised the custody officials IBTC. Mm. Another said, this kind of things will continue to happen as long as the criminals are still in charge. Executive National Assembly and Judiciary. Another said, who stamped the small good passport and at what point of departure? Another said, Nawao, how come he escaped? This is very funny. With Nigeria, everything is possible when it comes to corru corruption. Another said, NSA, we know the logic. Who will challenge the government? Criminals or criminals and criminals understand. Another said, Biko, NSA, make you tell that to the dogs. We are not babies. Another said, all the officials in charge of the custody must be arrested, dismissed and allowed them Allow them to cough out the money they collected. Imagine this is how these kidnappers bribe, um, bribe the Nigerian security personnel to escape and escape with their loot. The IG and NS NSA should be proactive in arresting the situations in future. Another said, we must have paid Tifnumbu and Somli. Who are you explaining to? When drug baron is in power, anything and everything is possible. Another said, what a U-S-E-L-E-S-S -E -E -S -S country. Another said, how did we get to this level? With this type of security, you think Nigeria can be safe? Wow. Okay. So those are the few comments we can take at the moment. Nigerians are still in shock to believe how, 
how this Binance executive who was under arrest by the NSA can find his way out of Nigeria, away from Abuja, all the way to the airports and out of the country. These are many questions are the questions coming to the minds of Nigerians. And maybe we are going to get answers soon. What a joke of the century. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.